Joining us right now is Mayor Rebecca Jones with what we can expect. Mayor, thank you for being here. Good to see you. It's great to see you. It's been a while. It has. So this is 33 years in the making. Obviously, yes. we've been doing this every single year. Uh, talk to me about what visitors can expect. What is the Spring Fling? Oh my gosh, so much shopping, so much food, lots of music, lots of community members uh, just out and about. And of course, we'll have our city booth uh, to let people know all about what we're doing at the city. And of course, we'll have our firefighters there as well. It's wonderful. We're seeing photos of it right now from mm -hmm. years past. Um, tell us a little bit about the festival. How did this start? Um, again, 33 years ago, how did it start? I mean, is it just a celebration of everybody locally or is it people from everywhere? Yes, it, it definitely is uh, from all over North County. So it started as a let's Let's uh, showcase some of our small businesses, and it's really grown every year. Um, and there's also going to be an area for the kids, of course, with the inflatables and all of that so they can have fun. Uh, but, but it really is uh, just for the community to get together, spend some time out there, and we have beautiful San Marcos sunshine. It's been so nice the last few days, so hopefully the weather will hold. I don't know. You can probably fill us in on that. Uh, but uh, it just really is a fun event for everyone to get out and, you know, just eat and have uh, shopping and uh, really I, I love the part about uh, just the community being out there um, the bandstands and the kids and all of that it's just really a lot of fun I love the fact that it's family friendly it is but you can support local business this way yeah. just by showing up and and just spending the day right definitely and you know one of the things that we found about the pandemic is really our small businesses were treated very unfairly and so this really just gives them an extra boost and I have to tell you all the time uh, I, when I go and I uh, visit, uh, there are so many people there that say, oh my gosh, I just love coming to this every year. And uh, I love bringing my business and my wares here. And it really is just a really good time for people to get out and about and see their friends made that they haven't seen in a while. Uh, so it really is uh, just so much fun. And you can get there, uh, you can drive, you can take public transit. Uh, it really is uh, a very friendly place to go. It's right there on Via Veracruz between Grand and uh, San Marcos Boulevard. Um, you know, we saw some of the photos earlier. It seemed like a lot of people were there. How many it people is. are expecting this Probably year? Probably about 15,000 or so. So okay. uh, a good amount and you know it's an all day event from nine to five and so you know you can go in and pop in in the morning, uh, go about your day. A lot of people have uh, sports with their kids or you can come in the afternoon. I mean really it's just a great time to be out there. Um, with so many people, what should yeah. visitors know about parking? Because that's always a consideration yeah. when you're heading to these types of events. Yeah, so there, there's parking all on the street right around the event. Uh, there's also uh, Grand Plaza, which is uh, close. So if, uh, if, if mom wants to go do a little shopping and dad's going to take the kids uh, for a bit, that you could do that. Mom could go to Nordstrom Rack and uh, all of those stores there, do a little grocery shopping, so it is close. But you, there is parking all around it, and you can just uh, find your way around. Like I said, it's right there between Grand Avenue on Via Veracruz and San Marcos Boulevard. So all, all the side streets, not on San Marcos Boulevard, there's no parking, but pretty much everything else, there's, uh, there's a good amount of parking. It's probably best to do public transit if you can, or get somebody to drop you off early yeah. at that point. Yeah, right? if you can, definitely. But, you know, again, uh, you, it, there are a lot of people that just park in the little business parks right around it. So plenty of parking. You'll find your way around, and they'll have the roads closed, too. So for people out there who want to go on Sunday, this is a free event, it correct? Is. Give mm -hmm. us some of the give us the details, where, when, all of that. Okay, so it's 9 to 5, uh, again, via Veracruz between San Marcos Boulevard and Grand Avenue. And uh, you could just navigate your way. It's right there off of the freeway, uh, the 78 freeway. Unfortunately, you have to get on the 78, but it's not so bad on the weekend. Uh, but it's, uh, like I said, it's open, um, lots of side streets, uh, parking on uh, Grand and uh, all of the little smaller side streets. There's uh, parking at the old restaurant row as well. Uh, that's uh, pretty much vacant, but still parking over there. And so plenty, plenty of parking. I, I know that's not going to be an issue. But definitely a pop-in event if you don't want to stay there all day, you don't have to. But I'm actually always looking forward to doing some of my birthday shopping. So I love uh, going to all the little booths. And I know there will be some political booths too, so people can get to know candidates and running for office this year, which is a good thing. Um, just and again, you know, our city, uh, our city booth will be there uh, talking about all the great things that are happening in the city. We were hoping to have our uh, grand opening of our um, uh, finalized uh, road construction, but that's right. not going to be quite done yet. 
So we're uh, holding off. We were put back a little bit from the rain because we have gotten a lot of rain. But uh, another thing you might want to do while you're in San Marcos, if you have time, is pop over to one of our parks. Uh, we've got the lilac blooming. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely need to check that out. Well, it's absolutely beautiful it right is. now. You it know, really it is spring, is. and I do. Uh, somebody told me Sunday is going to be clear. It's got. Oh, I, I'm so glad to hear that because it really it will be beautiful then. And you know, again, if you want to split up, uh, some of the family go for a hike and then go over to the uh, street fair a little bit later. You can do that too, and make sure you do lots of shopping. Uh, go to dinner. If you don't want the um, the food that's there, I mean, there's a, there's a lot to do. And there's definitely. entertainment, which is even of better. Of course. So, something yes. for everybody. Yes, definitely. And oh. there usually is a coffee truck, too, so you can stay awake. <laughs> and sometimes people get a little bit tired. But, you know, I, I think it really is a great opportunity for people to get out. You know, seniors uh, even can get out there, just spend a little bit of time, and you don't have to be there all day. It really, um, you know, should be a nice day weather-wise. Uh, based on what you said and it really has been nice all week so i think it's a good yes. last weekend not so much no uh, but someone this in weekend. the know someone in the know yeah. told me yeah definitely. <laughs> sarah allegra says it's going to be sunny so there you go Great. the 33rd annual spring fling in san marcos mayor rebecca jones thank you for joining us we appreciate it so much thank you great to be here all right have fun on sunday i will thank you all right